How fun is this? Elon Musk has been firing tweetards left and right. You know, once you buy a company for $45 billion, you should be able to decide what quality of employee works there. And I want to show you guys exactly what happened, okay? When Elon Musk got to Twitter, nobody was working. Everyone was on maternity leave. Women were taking months off for personal growth. I mean, nothing was getting done. And Elon is slowly just kind of putting the screwdriver in there and tightening up the operations. Now, you're not going to like what you see, especially ladies. But Twitter was a bastion for female employees doing absolutely nothing. And one of the first things Elon had to do was get rid of all the employees doing nothing and hire hardworking people. And uh, it looked a little something like this. This here on the left is when Elon first stepped foot in the building. As you can see, mostly white women, mostly Karens, a couple dudes in there, but they have the same eyebrows as the women and kind of goofing around sitting in the back. And it's just college just puked into a uh, Silicon Valley company. And this is what popped out. Well, Elon needs to make a profit now. So he has now replaced them. Who do you think works harder? A bunch of girls doing Peloton and Zumba class and eating celery and talking about their diet and setting up doggy play dates or these complete nerds who have a fat tire around their belly and they got the, you know, thumbs up dude, bad haircuts. They're wearing members only jackets. They haven't bathed. This is who you want running your company. If you're going to get stuff done, this is who you want running your company. If you want to look woke. Well, when you just bought a company for $45 billion, you don't have the luxury to be woke anymore because you could go broke. So I just thought that was hilarious. Look at these dweebs. And then uh, the, the women are complaining they all lost their job, but they didn't want to come back to work. They wanted to work from home. So I want you guys to see this. This is fabulous here. Um, a lot of the women said, oh, he, he just only hires men now. No, that's a woman. There's a woman there you can see by her big forehead. Okay. There's a woman over here. But this looks like what every graduating class resembles when everyone is doing coding. Does that make sense? So this represents what America might look like, okay? But Twitter is not America. Twitter is a dot-com company, so his company needs to reflect what the graduating class of MIT looks like and Stanford, e-commerce, men that have no friends, that will code 18 hours a day. That is what he's doing. Does that make sense? So I want to get into the comments right here and uh, see what you guys think. Twitter now reflects the actual population of computer coding graduates. So if you're going to complain, it's not fair, there's not enough women. More women need to go and get a computer coding degree and graduate at the top of their class. And they too can work at Twitter. What do you think about that? Pop61 says those are a bunch of twits. Free Cat goes, I definitely see a few stoners in there. And Patricia says, that's what a lot of computer classes look like when I got my networking degree. Absolutely. So stop being virtue signalers. Know that uh, being a woke leftist is just a luxury that you can have when everything's going well, like when Trump is president and money's just coming in and the economy's chugging. But when you put Biden there and Kamala there and the recession comes and inflation hits, bye ladies, we're going to have some nerds. I'm not even going to be allowed in there. So don't be like, oh, okay, no, no, I'm not. It's going to be nerdy Indians and Asians and white guys with no friends coding to the night and sun come back up just around the clock. All right. Now you know what it's like to be a coder during a recession. We'll be back.